One of the things that uh, maybe it was not so obvious into the thing, we, we were making the choice of not installing a part capacity and paying that ourselves, giving us the, the, but even in the car, we, we don't think it's, it makes a lot of sense to put a lot of battery because first it's an ecological disaster. Uh, and, uh, and we think that uh, maybe, for example, we will have a, you know, a battery with the right energy density, but may, maybe with fast charging capacity uh, because you know, of everything is cost and weight, uh, etc. And we think at Renault in a cradle to grave, uh, you know, with a cradle to grave approach. We don't look at only the thing. So we believe that that's the best, the, the better philosophy in, uh, in the long, long term. And this will also allow us to have a different philosophy we had in the first generation by reducing the battery we have there. Hopefully, uh, for example, infrastructure will, you know, with the time will get better and better. So people will have to load less energy on board from, the, from day one, and that will reduce the cost. I mean, typically, a car like this that will be used in urban environment doesn't need like a 50 kilowatt, uh, you know, a battery to do what it has to do. Because, for example, we have the numbers on the Dacia Spring. I don't know Denis is not here because he's in Portugal today, but, but uh, and the Dacia Spring is uh, average. We, it's connected car, so we know, we know the uses of the thing. It's 30 kilometer average distance traveled every day. And it's 26 kilometer per hour in average. <laughs> That's, yeah, and there you can put, uh, you know, a relatively compact battery, cost is down, and then we can offer a car that people can use, and that is very sustainable uh, for less than 20,000 euros. That's the philosophy of Renault. I'm not going to put a 200 kilowatt battery on a pickup truck. That uh, doesn't make a lot of sense. So why do we do then electric cars?